Here we want to find an equation for the function represented by the given graph. And we have two lines here that switch at the point x equals 3. So we can kind of see it's going to be a piecewise function. So we know that the final answer of this is, is going to be some kind of piecewise function of the form f of x equals something if x is less than 3, and, and that's an open circle on there, so I just left it as less than, and then something else if x is greater than or equal to 3. So we just need to figure out what these two things are. And we know they're both going to be lines because we can tell by the picture that they're both lines. So we will use the equation for a line. How about this? y equals mx plus b. Uh, if you recall that m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So we can tell for this first line on the left that the slope is 1 because it just goes up 1 over 1. So m is 1 here and the y-intercept is also 1. So b is 1. So this first one is y equals x plus 1. And we will plug that into the first equation here. So we know this will be y uh, equals, uh, okay, so we already have our f of x, that's our y, so let's just leave it as x plus 1. There we go. Now for the second one, and there's a few different ways to approach this. Um, let's do slope as rise over run. So it goes down 1 and over 1, 2, 3. So the slope for the second one here, m is negative 1 third. If you don't like that, well, there's another way to do it. We can just look at these two points. We have 3 comma 2 here for this point, and then we have 6 comma 1 for the second point. And then we can just use our standard slope equation, m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, let's see. So let's use that as y2, how about 1 minus 2 over 6 minus 3, which simplifies down again to negative 1 third. So you can take an analytical approach or a geometrical approach. Both of them get you to the same spot. Now we need our y-intercept. One thing you could do is try to trace this back. It looks like it's going to be 3, but how do we know for sure? It's pretty risky to just trace it back like that. Um, so instead, I'm going to use um, the point slope equation for a line. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, just to be absolutely certain that that y-intercept is indeed 3. And you can pick either point you want to be x1 or y1. I'll, I'll use 3, 2. So we'll call this x1 and we'll call 3 x1 and 2 y1. So y minus 2 equals negative 1 third x minus 3. Simplify that out. We get y minus 2 equals negative 1 third x plus 1. Adding 2 to both sides, we get negative 1 third x plus 3 indeed. So it turns out our y-intercept was 3 after all. And there are other ways to find the y-intercept. You know, a lot of versatility here. So let's plug that into our equation negative one third x plus three if x is greater than or equal to three.